Hey, we're Sally and Ed, and over the past few months we have been self-converting this empty cargo van into a tiny home on wheels so that we can travel the big lap of Australia. Neither of us had any building experience prior to starting this conversion, so it has been quite the adventurous few months. And with 2020 quickly coming to an end, we need to get a rig along with this build, as we're leaving to travel Australia on the 1st of January. That's in 30 days, friends. This is like an obstacle course in here. <laughs> All right, so we have 30 days to get the van ready to be on the road. On the 1st of January, we are off to travel the big lab around Australia. And as you can probably <laughs> tell, the van has a little bit of a way to go on it. So we have come up with a list of 30 essential things to get us on the road. And the idea is we're gonna try and tick off one thing from our list every single day. And if we can manage to just do that, the van should be ready in 30 days, by the 1st of January, to be on the road. So there are a couple of things that we need to do with our bathroom in order to get it done. As you can see, there is no door. So right now it's just a big empty open space, which means when we're showering, water's just gonna go everywhere. The other thing we need to figure out is this wall here is not 100% waterproof. I have gone through and I have painted this wall here with a special paint that does kind of help it be water resistant. But what we need to do is find something that's gonna really, really make this bit here waterproof. Uh, look, I'm sure it's not gonna be a huge problem in like the short term, but definitely in the long term, having water continuously splashing on this is gonna end up being a problem causing mold and rot, yada, yada, yada. So we need to get that fixed if we wanna be showering in here in 30 days. So another thing we need to do is to finish our platform at the rear of the van. This is going to act as our floor where we stand up and then we sit down. So we need to finish building the platform which is where our U-shaped benches and bed is going to be at the back of the van. We also really need to finish our kitchen. At the moment we just have this MDF template which is going to be where our bench top is going to be. We need to obviously install our gas stove and our sink and our tap and our fridge is gonna go here. There is a pull-out pantry that's gonna go in here, but at the moment it doesn't quite fit and that is because for some silly reason we thought we could mix and match Caboodle and Ikea, which are two flat pack kitchen companies. Just FYI guys, you actually can't really mix and match different kitchen flat pack companies because they have different dimensions, which I didn't take into consideration when buying the things. We also need to sort this mess out. This <laughs> is our 12 volt system. This will be 240 when we get it all installed by the electrician. It's totally fine what we've done. We've just run wires. Nothing is hooked up, so it's perfectly safe. And we need to do our electrical fit out and install the batteries down here. So, we've got a lot to do. There is so much to do. And starting today, we're gonna be starting with building our cabinets, our upper cabinets, which is where all of our electrics are gonna go and we're gonna be working towards finishing our kitchen. Which can go here. Which means we're gonna have a beautiful upper cabinet right there. So. <laughs> so we better get started because we have got a lot to do and 30 days might seem like a really long time to get 30 tasks done, but we've never built cabinets before. So, you know, it might take three days. Who knows? Let's go. What are we doing first? So the first thing we need to do is work out how we're going to do the two end pieces. So we're building two 650 millimeter length cabinets. So it's 1300 length in total, which is the whole space of our kitchen. And we're gonna be building the end pieces. So I've just pulled our, ripped up a sheet of cardboard. We're just gonna scribe around the wall so that we can trace this onto the wood. As you can see up here, the van is curved. It's not straight. So building the cabinet is not as simple as just chopping wood straight. So usually when you're scribing, what you need to do is cut off a piece and gradually like trim the cardboard so that it fits closer and closer to the wall until you get the exact shape. But because we're so good at not finishing projects, we actually haven't built our bulkhead wall yet, which means we can slide our cardboard straight in to the gap, nice and tight, and just trace this. This will give us the exact shape of our wall. That's <laughs> so handy. Good job us for not finishing things. See, I knew there was a reason that we hadn't finished so many projects. And now, put 
pretty perfecto. It's not 100%, but it's pretty close. first time building cabinets. We thought we would make the process just a little bit easier on ourselves and we actually went to Bunnings and bought some wood that was pretty much already pre-cut and straight. We do have to cut some of the pieces down just a little bit, but like the base piece that we bought is one straight, beautiful, pre-sanded, ready to go piece. It's pretty close to the length we want, which is gonna take a little bit off. And then we also bought these, which is Tasmanian oak, which I know sounds like a little bit fancy, but it's just like one of the cheapest hardwoods that you can buy in Bunnings. We just bought it in 2.4 meter lengths, which means we can just use our compound saw to just like cut perfectly straight lines and our cabinet should come together and should be all perfectly straight and fairly simple to put together. As opposed to us using the wood that we already have, which was our original idea to cut some of the plywood that we have into strips and use that. But knowing us, we knew that that would probably go wrong and everything would end up wonky and our cabinets would not be straight and it was just gonna look like a mess. So yeah, that's what we've done. supporting piece that'll go in the middle and then the other four pieces that one will go like this and we're using them as sticks to build our frame so when it's all done it will be pretty solid little thing you got here. This is the cheapest pocket hole tool I can find. It is like super handy to hide all your screws and you know it's just gives it like a really nice kind of finish. Beautiful. And then that is what it looks like. So when we put it together, this will be the outside and then we'll be able to hide our screws on the inside. And these things are really easy to fill and sand and paint over. Okay, so these pieces, uh, these end pieces will go on the wood like that and cover all these joints. So if you wanna just come around the side, I'll give you a quick squiz. This one, this front face frame, will fasten down to our base. This will fasten to here, and then we're gonna have some brace pieces at the back. Something I wish I'd known before we started was that this front lip uh, could have acted like that, and that just would have given us a bit more of a cleaner sort of finish on our cabinet, I think. But we would have needed a, a higher piece of this for that to work. Yeah, and I didn't think about it when I bought all the wood. Should I get my feet in the way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just put 
this down and give you a hand. It does fit, but because we have this cable here, we just need to cut a little piece out of our cabinet and then it will fit 100%. The shell of our upper cabinet done. Woo. We built a cabinet. We built a cabinet. Actually, really, in hindsight, how easy that was, we should have probably just built all of this rather than going with Ikea, because Ikea was not easy to put together. Well, it wasn't easy to put together and we had to modify it anyway. Yeah, so. So it's actually taken quite a bit of work. <laughs> we should just, yeah, we should just made it. <laughs> just made it, ah. So this is how the cabinet turned out. Still needs to be painted, but not too shabby for our first cabinet. So I realized before, we didn't even share with you our list. This is our list. I think we're gonna like try and write it on maybe like some more exciting paper. So we're like super psyched to finish the list. I know King and it, they had this big, big man list and this list is nowhere near as good as that. Now we can take off one of the first things on our list.